Hey guys, I'm Bonnie and welcome back to Black History Lessons. Today I'm going to tell you all about the icon that was Mary C. Cole. Mary Jane Seacole was a British Jamaican nurse and businesswoman who set up the British Hotel behind the lines during the Crimean War. Born Mary J. Grant in 1805 in Kingston, Jamaica, her father was a Scottish soldier in the British Army and her mother, who ran a well-known boarding house, was a mixed race woman respected for her medicinal skills. Mary's mother was in fact referred to locally as a doctress. When Mary was born, African enslaved people made up much of the island's population. However, like her mother, Mary was born free. By the age of 12, she was helping her mother run a boarding house in Kingston, where many of the guests were sick or injured soldiers. Mary's mother was skilled in traditional medicines and passed on this knowledge to Mary. As well as this, Mary also learned a lot from the army doctors staying at the boarding house. On hearing the news of British soldiers going off to Russia to fight in the bloody battles of the Crimean War, she wanted to help. Off she went to the war office in London to request to join Florence Nightingale and her team of nurses treating wounded and sick soldiers in the Crimea. Sadly, Mary was turned down. In 1855, she set off to the Crimea in a ship stocked with medical supplies. She arrived to a terrible state. Many of the soldiers were cold, dirty and hungry, and those that were sick and wounded weren't being properly cared for. She decided something had to be done, and so Mary opened a British hotel near the battlefields. But this wasn't the kind of hotel you'd expect to stay in on your holidays. It was basically a hut made of metal sheets where soldiers could rest and buy hot food, drinks and equipment. Mary used the money spent there to help treat and care for sick and wounded soldiers. As well as treating soldiers at her hotel in Crimea, Mary would also visit the battlefront on her horse, taking sandwiches, drinks, bandages and medicines with her. Mary was so caring she became known amongst the soldiers as Mother Seacole. Although Mary was very popular, she sadly still experienced racism. At one of her goodbye parties in 1852, a man made a speech to thank Mary for helping treat those who had been sick but exclaimed that it was a shame her skin wasn't white, as it would have made her more acceptable. Mary could not allow this, however. So responded that I should have been just as happy and just as useful and as much respected by those who respect I value. Despite being so well loved, Mary was largely forgotten about in public memory after her death in 1881. It was only in 1980 ahead of the centenary of her death, that public interest in her story grew once more. A statue of Mary Seacole that was unveiled outside St. Thomas Hospital in London in 2016 is believed to be the first in the UK to honour a black woman. Be sure to come back for more black history lessons where we'll be talking about more great icons. <laughs>